How energetic do you feel when you wake up in the morning? How often do you get up without hitting the snooze button? There's nothing worse than going to bed early and still waking up tired. There are many factors that affect how exhausted you feel in the morning, and you may have some habits that are draining your energy. In this video, we'll explore solutions to help you wake up early and refreshed. Let's dive in while you hit that subscribe button. First and foremost, stop snoozing. Hitting the snooze button doesn't actually give you more sleep. It doesn't help you wake up better in the morning. Every time you hit snooze, you're likely to feel even more exhausted. This is because our sleep is divided into 90-minute cycles. When you fall back asleep and wake up shortly after, you disrupt your sleep cycle, which leaves you feeling more groggy and sluggish. Waking up at the end of a sleep cycle is crucial. If you wake up in the middle of it, your whole day could feel drained. But if you wake up after your REM phase, you'll feel well rested and energized. There are apps like Sleep Cycle that wake you up at the right time in your sleep cycle. And although this isn't a sponsored mention, it's a helpful tool. Secondly, make sure you're getting enough sleep. For your body to function properly, you need a certain amount of sleep every day. This may seem basic, and you probably already know it. But we often either oversleep or don't sleep enough. One of the reasons is that we don't sleep at regular times. One day we go to bed at 10 p.m., the next day at 3 a.m. However, you should go to bed and wake up at the same time every day. This way, your body gets into a rhythm and you can naturally wake up at the end of a sleep cycle. Also, everyone has different sleep needs to feel energized. If you want to find out how many hours of sleep you need, try going to bed at the same time for a week and wake up without an alarm. Take note of how many hours you sleep each night, and by the end of the week, you'll know how much sleep your body needs. With this knowledge, you'll know when to go to bed to wake up at your desired time. The third golden rule is to drink water and get your blood flowing as soon as possible. It's important to rehydrate your body right after you wake up. After going six to eight hours without water, you naturally become dehydrated and dehydration causes fatigue. Before bed, place a glass of water on your nightstand so it's waiting for you when you wake up. Your goal is to replenish the water your body lost during sleep. Often, when people feel tired, whether in the morning or afternoon, they don't need coffee, they need water. Another key thing is to do some light exercise right after waking up. Any physical activity that raises your heart rate and gets your blood flowing will boost your energy levels. This might sound counterintuitive, but researchers suggest that spending energy through regular exercise doesn't tire you out. In fact, it creates energy in your body. Even when you feel exhausted, get up and walk around the room, and within minutes, you'll start to feel an energy boost. You don't need to do an intense workout. It doesn't have to be a marathon before breakfast. I usually do some stretching and go for a run later in the day. Another golden rule is to avoid screens, specifically blue light, before bed. Your TV, smartphone, and computer screens emit artificial blue light. The problem with this artificial light at night is that it tricks your body into thinking it's still daytime. When it gets dark outside, your body starts producing melatonin, a hormone that helps you sleep. But artificial light blocks melatonin production, which can seriously disrupt your sleep schedule. Your body won't send signals to your cells that it's nighttime. That's why it's crucial to avoid looking at any screens for at least two hours before bed. If you're watching this video at 2 a.m. and need to wake up early tomorrow, try implementing this tip starting tomorrow and swap your phone for a book before bed. For those who find it hard to put away their phone or computer before sleeping, there's a solution for this blue light problem. First, activate the night mode on your devices to reduce the amount of blue light. This can help to some extent. For a stronger solution, you can invest in blue light filtering glasses. These provide much more significant benefits than just using night mode. Your health and sleep schedule are important, and a small investment can make a big difference in your well-being. I hope you learned something new today. I've been following these tips for a while, and I can say they really work. If you have any other solutions that work for you and want to share them, feel free to leave a comment below. Together, we'll be better than we were yesterday. Thank you for watching the video all the way through, my friend. You can support us by subscribing and liking, which means a lot to us. We love you. Take care until the next video. Goodbye.